Greetings, human. Buddy, over here. Yeah, you. I know you, don't I? That's it! Xenia told me about you. She said you helped stop some blood ritual in Lumbridge. Said I should watch out for you, this new up-and-coming hero. By the way, my name's Ozan. Anyway... I'm glad you stopped by. I've got a bit of a situation here, and I could use some help. An old friend of mine, Noom's his name, seems to have fallen in with a new gang setting up shop here in Draenor. When I saw him, he was acting all shifty. Wouldn't talk to me about it. I think he's in over his head. So, I need someone on the inside. I'm a bit too well known. Adventures with me tend to be a bit unpredictable, <laughs> but I'm sure we'll have a few laughs along the way. What do you say? Right now, Noom is holed up in the cellar of this house next to us. Knock on the trapdoor, pose as a thug, and try to get yourself recruited. Then see what you can find out about Noom. Any questions? Great. What do you want? Come on, I don't have all day. Please? <laughs> I think you got the wrong place, mate. Get lost. What do you want? Come on, I don't have all day. Yeah, you seem all right. Come on in. Hello, stranger. Welcome to the scullery. I take it you're here to join the skulls, not for the atmosphere. That is to say, you're surrounded by skulls. One wrong word and your throat will be cut before you've finished saying it. That clear? Good. In which case, my new friend, you'll be wanting to pass my little initiation. It's just a few theoretical situations you might find yourself in if you pass. And... If you don't pass, well, use your imagination. <laughs> now that the formalities are out of the way, first question. You see a wealthy resident leaving train or market laden with goods. They stop and ask for your help carrying their goods home. Suppositionally, what do you do? Clever. You minimize risk and maximize loot. Not too shabby. Okay, now for question two. A fellow gang member is wrongfully imprisoned. What method do you theoretically use to liberate them? and smuggle out our gang member in the confusion. It's bold and loud, but that has its own benefits. Okay, final question. A stranger disrespects you in public. What do you do? 
hypothetically speaking. Yes, you make an immediate example of them. Plus, they know not to fail you again. Okay, you gave some good answers there. You've clearly got potential. You sound like you'd make a good enforcer. A gang can never have enough muscle. Well done. Welcome to the Skulls, recruit. You have any questions about the gang? As a matter of fact, three of my best are out on a job right now. A kidnapping. It's our biggest job so far. Plus, I get the bonus of sticking it to my old employer. It's relatively risk-free, too. We've got some lady backer doing all the heavy lifting. But you don't need to know any more than that. That's enough questions for now. I've got a task for you. Don't worry, I'm not going to get you to kill anyone. Yet. Just run some supplies to my guys. I'll fill you in when we're at our HQ. This place is just where we unwind. Thing is, I'm not going to tell you where our HQ is. Consider this one final test, a practical to follow the theory, but if you can't find it, well, I guess maybe you aren't Skull's material after all. it back out alive. Are you in? What did you find out? This kidnap job he mentioned worries me. I want to ask him about it. He said he wants you to meet him at his gang's HQ, then run supplies to his mercs. So, it sounds like he'll be making his own way there soon. We should wait for him to surface, then follow him. That's how we'll find the HQ. Once we get him alone, I'll step in, and we can find out more about what he's mixed up in. There must be more going on. The Noom I knew wouldn't do something like this. Are you ready to trail Noom back to his HQ? Okay, when Noom comes out, we need to keep him in our sights. But don't get too close, or else he'll spot you. I'll stick with you, but we'll hang back so he doesn't see me. If you're getting too close, or he's getting too far away, I'll let you know. I think I hear him coming. Let's do this. We should be okay here. Let's go. Move up! Get your money. The shipment arrives tomorrow morning. Ah, Pizzera. Tomorrow's dinner will be... Let's go! Let's go!
He just went into the old jail. That must be his gang's HQ. Okay, he went in here. Let's have a little chat with him. Well done, recruit. You found the HQ. Ozan! Recruit! Now it's time for you to kill someone. Well, what are you waiting for? Unless... you're working together? Damn you! I'll kill you both myself! No, you're good just there. What are you up to, Noom? Bah! Nothing you've never done, you hypocrite! When we first met, you were nothing but a thief! But at least I have a code. There are some things you just don't do. You were a palace guard for head's sake. What happened? You happened! That night you snuck into the palace. They blamed me for letting you in. I was disgraced. Turfed out after twenty years of loyal service. All thanks to an impetuous boy's curiosity. And then you just left Al Karid. Not a word to me. I had no choice. They banished me. I'm sorry we lost touch. But that's no excuse for what you're doing now. Let me help you. Help me? How? To become a good thief? A famous hero? Pah! Me and my gang are doing just fine. You call being involved in a kidnapping fine? What's that about? Yes? Speak up. If you have got something to say, you can share it with the whole class. Who's this? Another of your lackeys, Noom? I have to say, she's prettier than the rest of them. But you're not getting the old man, sweetheart. He's helping us out. Oh, you are fast. But you will not stop me taking him, hero. Hero? So you've heard of me. What am I saying? Of course you've heard of me. I'm Ozan. Ozan the Bloody Marvelous. I know who you are. You are still a smarmy git. And now you've fallen in with this traitorous scum and his gang. Whoa, hang on there. Uh, <laughs> we're not part of his gang. And if you're not either, then who are you? No, wait. Don't tell me. I know this. Those piercing jade eyes, the full soft lips, that dulcet voice. The scary-looking crossbow aimed at my heart? Is that you, princess? Ugh! Do not call me that! I am not a princess! Of course, I'm sorry! It's Leela, right? Look, I may be many things, but we aren't Noom's skulls. Ha! <laughs> you could have fooled me! Look! Noom's men are kidnapping someone tied to al -Karid. We're trying to stop it! We can work together. You have to trust us. I'm loading my bow. Don't shoot. Or you could shoot, but that would ruin my favorite shirt. Fine. I will trust you, for now. But only because I need information too. Do not think this makes us friends. But you are too late to stop the kidnapping. The prince went missing while he was touring Lumbridge. I have followed the trail to Draenor. Wait, what? You've kidnapped Prince Ali? I knew you'd got into some serious stuff, but this? Finished your lover's tiff? Well, I'm not telling you a thing. Neither of you have the guts to cause me harm. Yeah, that may be so. But you don't know my friend here. If you won't talk to me or Leela... 
You can talk to him. Torture me all you want. I'm trained to withstand it. Besides, by the time you got anything out of me, the prince will be long gone. I'm not comfortable with that. Whatever Noom might think, I'm still his friend. Seriously? After what he's done? Sure, that won't be fun. But I was a palace guard for a long time. My imagination will keep my mind occupied until my men break me out. But what if they don't come, eh? What if they just replace you? Imagine that. Bah! I'll... I'll find a way out. As if any of you has the skill to just whip up a truth serum. Even if you did. Or could find someone to do it. My info would be out of date before the serum was ready. Don't look at me. I'm rubbish at mixing potions. My father might know how, but he's much too far away. We need to get Noom to talk here and now. Trying to attack my pride, eh? Think I might let something slip? That might work if I didn't have complete faith in my men. The three mercs I sent on this job are my best. Ah, so there are only three of them. They won't be alone. They'll be with... Yeah, you're not getting any more out of me. Right, yeah. Like your love of food, Nun. How much is your imagination going to feed you when all we give you is bread and water? No. Hang on. Let's not do anything rash here. A man cannot live off bread alone. I need meat and cheese, ale, fruit, wine, coffee. Oh, God, no, don't take away my coffee. Okay, I'll talk. Just don't deprive a man of food, all right? Besides, the Skulls, we're only hired help. Our benefactor, Lady Kelly, this is her camel show. Lady Kelly? So, you're just a pawn in all this. Noom, who is this Kelly woman? I don't know who she is. I've never met her, only dealt with her two cronies, some tall guy with an eye patch and his half-wit friend. The kidnap is all Kelly's plan. My guys are just providing support to act as guides in Masgarnia and as muscle if it came to that. It's too late to clam up on us now, Noom. Where are they? Fine, there's a staging area directly south of here, on Draenor's coast. My men were to lead them there. There's a boat docked. Once this Lady Kelly had the Prince safely aboard, we were getting paid and cutting ties. Get to the shore, quick! There may still be time. I will join you once I have dealt with this fool. Catch up as soon as you can, Princess. We'll wait for you at the shore due south of here. Let's go! Everybody stop. Hand over the prince now, and I might only kill you a bit. 
not the most convincing demand, little man. Make one wrong move and I'll kill the prince now. Save us all some trouble. Don't give them what they want. Hold your tongue, boy. The lady's talking. Besides, you're outnumbered and outmatched. You two don't stand a chance. Make that three. Like it makes a difference. The prince is coming with me. Try to stop us, and he dies. Apep, Heru, to the boat. Yes, Lady Kelly. Your lady. Skulls, kill these fools and deliver the ransom to Al Karim. There's nothing in our contract. <laughs> See, we ain't doing nothing without our money. You will do as I command. Well, that's those thralls dealt with. Yes, but Lady Kelly got away with the prince. On my watch, too. It's not over yet, Leela. We'll get him back. I promise you that. That's not good enough. I should have stopped them here. I failed. I have to follow after them. Father will never... I know. You two must deliver the ransom message to my father. His name is Osman. He's al spy spymaster. He will be in the palace. Whoa there, princess. I've met your old man, remember? And he's none too fond of me. I'm not exactly welcome in al these days, either. Osman would clap me in irons as soon as he caught sight of me. Not if I tell you my passphrase. If you give him that, he will know the message comes from me. He will have to listen. The kidnap of Prince Ali is too important. Why don't you take him the ransom message? And we'll try to track down the kidnappers. Or we could all just go together. No. Someone has to take the message to him, and I... I cannot face him. Not after failing here. Please. Oh. <sighs> As you wish, Princess. Thank you. I am sorry I did not trust you before, but I am trusting you now. My passphrase is Kakalukiam. Do not forget it. And stop calling me Princess. Well, I guess I've got my, uh, orders. Look, I know you've kind of been dragged into this so far, but... I could really do with your help. Would you come with me to al -Karid? Good for you. Just think, it'll be something to tell your grandkids one day. The time you traveled with the amazing Ozan. Also, I'm not exactly welcome in al -Karid these days. I could do with a friend to vouch for me. I can tell you visited al -Karid before. We can use the home teleport spell to get there if you'd like. It'd save us some walking. The palace is a straight shot south of the lodestone there. Good idea. I'll follow you.
Well, here we are, Al Kari. Home sweet home. Sort of. Come on, let's head to the palace. The palace is under lockdown by order of the Eni. Please move along. But we have urgent business. We must speak with Spymaster Osman immediately. Oh, you must, must you? And I suppose my orders mean nothing, hmm? No one is to come in. It's about the kidnap of Prince Ali. What's this nonsense? The prince is safely touring around Lumbridge. No, he is not. We just saw him being woman-handled into a boat headed for the desert. And, if I'm not mistaken, his kidnappers were wearing blue and gold, the colors of Menaphos. So it's spreading dissent and hysteria, is it? Are you one of those pro-war nuts trying to stir up trouble? Go on, tell me some more. Make me arrest you. Lock us up. Take us to your leaders. Ha! Nice try. You aren't fooled. You're not getting in that way either. I wouldn't arrest you even if you were the world-renowned thief Ozan, and you were trying to break into the Emir's very own bedroom to pinch all of his left socks. Ah, oh, but I am Ozan. Now I've heard it all. Brilliant. Wait till the others hear about this one. In the meantime, you two clear off. There's no way we're getting in the front door, but that guard gave me an idea. We're going to break in and find Osman for ourselves. It's not like I haven't broken into the palace before. Come on, we need to get up onto the roof of the crafting store first. It's in the northeast of the city. Dominic's crafting store is in the northeast of the city. Dominic's crafting store is in the northeast.
Domic's crafting store is in the northeast of the city. Excuse us, coming through. See that rug? Drop down over there. I've got this one. Okay, now we just need to get across to the palace. Hold up! There's a voice coming from that window! 
I think it's Osman. There. That's better. I can actually breathe over here. I find the incense gets up my nose. Among other things. Osman, you're stalling. This situation is untenable, and you know it. The peace between our kingdoms is shaky at best. Between the Emir's illness and the Prince going missing, you need to establish some stability here. Not missing. Kidnapped. This was a deliberate act. I wouldn't be surprised to find out that Menephos was behind it. Employing politics where war has failed you. Rest assured, my people are looking into this. Be careful with your accusations, Spymaster. The Pharaoh sent me here as an envoy of peace. Menophos is not in the business of kidnapping. No, it's just warmongering and slavery these days, isn't it? And your people had best steer clear of Menaphos if they value their lives. Enough, gentlemen, please keep your tongue civil in the Emir's presence. It is all right, Hassan. I would hear this plainly. The peace must be maintained. But my answer is no, Ambassador. No Manaphite will ever sit on al Khalid's throne, even if only as custodian. You would leave your city leaderless? I am not dead yet, Jabari. And even if I were, leaders would rise, be they of royal blood or not. Indeed. Menaphos's pharaoh is proof of such. How dare you! Osman, you shall not insult our guest like this! Oh, then how should I insult him? Osman. I am sorry, Emir. Ambassador, my most sincere apologies. <laughs> Even without myself and my son, Alcarid is strong. <laughs> you have my answer. Very well, wise one. I shall take it back to my pharaoh. Hassan, please see our guest out. After you, Ambassador. You shouldn't have riled up Jabari so much. Oh, but it's so much fun. <laughs> Indeed it is. Now, forget what I told Jabari. The truth is I have little time left. I am dying, old friend. I feared as much. If my son is not safe, he returned to succeed me. Menaphos will declare war again. <coughs> Find my son and bring him home. At any cost. At any cost, Emir. Even if the ransom is to be the carried ib? No, never. The carried ib belongs in al Karid, and here it must stay. If that is the ransom, you must find another way. It's just a diamond, Emir. I have my reasons. But it's your son. And you have your orders. Yes, Emir. I will not fail you. Whoa! Did you hear that? Things are worse than we thought. 
But I remember now. The ransom's not for the Emir's actual heart. It's referring to a diamond. I saw it once when I was a boy. In fact, it's part of the reason I was kicked out of Al Qarid. The Karidib. It loosely translates to the heart of the sun. That's what the kidnappers want. But if the Emir won't let us take it, then maybe we should just not ask. More brickwork. We'll get caught by the guards if we go that way. Not that way. Too many guards. Let's find another way in. Let's climb down into the vault. I'll tie off a rope. The diamond's in that contraption at the back of the room. But it's locked up tighter than the business end of a camel. And I should know. I've had first-hand experience. Uh, to, to clarify, that's first-hand experience with the diamond. This is the room where Osman found me when I was younger. It's the reason I was banished from al Karid and the reason Noon got kicked out of the palace guard. Funny how life works out, huh? At least I'm here for the right reasons now. Problem is, I never did figure out how to get the diamond out. I think it has something to do with those head scales in the middle of the room. Have a look around. See what you can find. Maybe there's something in those chests that'll help. Just yank it open. It might be booby trapped. Pull that sticky out thing first. Yeah, that one. Then jiggle the doohickey and. Bingo! What does it say? Does it help? Let me know if you need any help figuring it out. It's okay. We only needed that one scroll. Hmm. So, if this scroll relates to the head scale, and if I'm reading it right, you can only perform two weighings to figure out which is the heavy weight. The
Someone's in the book. God, get this door open. And there's no reason for alarm in the earth. Whoever's in there is trapped. Quick, we have to get to the roof before. They cut the rope. Please, don't leave on my account. Not that you'd get far. Boss man, old buddy, <laughs> long time no see. Um, this isn't what it looks like. Really? Because what it looks like is me catching the so-called master thief, Ozan, who's attempting to steal the Karib Imp for a second time. Yeah, well... <laughs> Okay, it, it is what it looks like. Guards, take them away. Hold! Explain. We found out they were involved in the Prince's kidnapping. So we tried to intervene. Your daughter was there. Leela? We came straight here to warn you to pass on the ransom note. And yet I find you in here. The palace is in lockdown. So we, uh, used a different entrance. So I see. Okay, sure, so we broke in. But on our way in, we overheard the Emir ordering you not to trade the diamond. So you thought you'd just ignore the Emir's orders and steal it? Those are your orders, not mine. I'm no soldier. I'm not even an al Qarid citizen anymore, if you remember. Yes, and if you remember, that's due to a situation very much like this one. Do you have anything to back up this little story? Yes. Leela gave us her passphrase. Ah. It's true she would only freely give such information to an ally, and only in dire circumstances. Very well. If you can tell me my daughter's passphrase, I'll be more inclined to believe you. Oh, uh, what was it again? Okay, let's for a moment say I believe you. Why did Leela not return with you? She pretty much ordered us here to get some aid. It certainly sounds like her. But you must know my orders mean I cannot allow you to leave with the diamonds. Hand it over. Now follow me. You can tell your little tale to the Emir. Well, Osman, who's in my vault? Emir, may I present our two intruders? My son. Is... is this him? Is he returned? Come... closer, boy. I can't... see you from here. I am sorry, Amir. I am not your son. But I do bring news of him. And that is why we must take the diamond, Amir. Osman! <laughs> I gave you your orders. Did you think these two might convince me where you did not? I am not one of your assets to manipulate. The carried imp stays here. No exceptions. I am sorry, Emir. That was not my intention. But you agreed with us, Osman. You said yourself it is just a diamond. The Emir's word is law. Come, let us leave him to his rest. No! Hmm. 
We're not leaving until we convinced you. I don't understand, Amir. How can you be so callous? Do not presume to judge me, child. I love my son. But I also love my people, and they must come first. It is not for you to understand. If, as you say, you wish to save my son, then I beg you to do so. But you are not taking my... 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 Heart... <laughs> Hassan, do something. There is nothing to be done. The Emir has passed. If Menaphos hears of this before the prince is returned, we are lost. No, I didn't mean for... Did I do this? Don't be absurd, Ozan. You heard yourself. He was dying. I know, but I need, I need some air. Good idea. In fact, you should all go. I must attend to the Emir's last rites. Before you say anything, I hold neither you nor Ozan accountable for the Emir's death. He has been ill for a long time. Where did Ozan go, anyway? The Emir was a direct man, and yours were words he needed to hear. In light of the situation, I am also ignoring your attempted theft, but don't get any ideas. I am the spy master here, and it falls to me to form a plan of rescue. Although I may have need of you and Ozan once I have done so, please tell Ozan that his past deeds are forgiven. He is free to return as a citizen of Al Karid. And as for your part in this, the city of Al Karid rewards you. The ransom message the kidnappers gave you concerns me. Please get Ozan and meet me back up in the vault. There's something I need you both to see before you get it into your heads again to steal the carrot ib. Will you do this? It might get dangerous.